Hey guys, ZeroTech00 here, and today we are going to test the Avastman Antivirus vs the Navashield drug. So, without any further ado, let's get straight into our first test. And as you guys usually know, this video is sponsored by Privado VPN. More of that in a minute. Okay, guys, so the first test is gonna be with all the protections on. As you guys can see, all the protections are activated on this antivirus. So, with that, guys, let's run the Navashield drug. For the first time in 3, 2 and 1. And as we can see, the Avast 1 antivirus has detected and stopped the Navashi drug from running as we can see here. So with that guys, let's get further into the second test. Okay guys, so unfortunately this Avast 1 antivirus doesn't have a secondary protection like behavior shield. As we can see, it only has the file shield here, it's just a scan, web shield and more. But yeah, unfortunately we don't have a second protection such as a behavior shield. This antivirus just has the file shield protection, aka it only has a main protection. It doesn't have a secondary protection in case the main protection is for some reason deactivated. So with that guys, I guess we are gonna get further in this second test with this file shield protection off we are just gonna hope that the antivirus will do a good job and yeah with that guys let's run the navashi drug with the file shield protection off in three two and one oh okay so as i expected guys as we can see we got infected with this malware thing oh Oh Jesus Christ. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do some censoring. I'm I'm literally gonna have to edit this video, even though it's for YouTube members like this part. I'm gonna have to edit it. And as you guys have seen, I reactivated this file sheet protection after the infection. And as you guys can see, only the malware executable got detected, but the malware itself is not detected yet. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna do a smart scan. But before we do the smart scan, I'm gonna show you the message of today's sponsor, Privado VPN. Hey everyone, I'm excited to take a quick break from our usual content to talk about an essential tool for your online safety and privacy, Privado VPN. I've partnered with Privado VPN to share how their suite of services can protect you while you're online. So, what is Privado VPN? At its core, Privado VPN is a virtual private network designed to keep your online activities private and secure. Whether you're streaming, shopping, or just browsing, Privado VPN encrypts your data, ensuring that your personal information stays safe from hackers and prying eyes. But it's not just about privacy. Privado VPN also offers a way to access content from around the world. Ever been blocked from watching a show or accessing websites because of where you're located? With Privado VPN, you can bypass those geographic restrictions by connecting to one of their global servers, giving you access to your favorite content no matter where you are. And if that wasn't enough, Privado VPN is also rolling out their new antivirus Sentry service. This is a powerful tool designed to keep your devices safe from malware viruses and other online threats. So, not only are you securing your connection with the VPN, but you are also protecting your device with top-notch antivirus software. Now, one of the things I really appreciate about Privado VPN is how user-friendly it is. The interface is clean, simple and easy to navigate. Even if you are not tech-savvy, you'll find it super easy to connect to a server, activate a VPN or set up your antivirus protection with just a few clicks. And here's the best part, Privado VPN offers all of this at a very affordable price. In a world where online security can often feel expensive, Privado VPN provides premium services without breaking the bank. You are getting top tier privacy and security features at a price that's really accessible. So if you are serious about protecting your online privacy, keeping your devices secure and doing it all with an easy to use interface. I highly recommend checking out Privado VPN and their antivirus Sentry service. Click the link in the description below to learn more and get started today. That's it for our quick break. Thanks for sticking with me and a huge shout out to Privado VPN for partnering with us on this. Now let's get back to the video. Well now that the sponsor is over, I mean the message of the sponsor, we can get further and do the smart scan.
Okay guys, so as we can see, apparently a malware did get detected the Navashi.exe from C, Navalabs and so on. So basically the whole malware got detected, which is a very good thing, let's uh, resolve it, aka remove it from the system, and then we are most probably gonna do a restart, sorry about that, and uh, yeah. There we go, we are done with the scan as we can see, the malware seems to be erased. I am also gonna check task manager for any signs of infection. And as we can see, the Nava Shield malware doesn't run in background. I mean, Nava Shield drug, not malware. But there we go, as we can see, it doesn't run in background on task manager. So with that guys, we are gonna do a restart and we are gonna see if the system is fine or not. Okay guys, so the restart is over as we guys can see and now we are inside the system which is a very good thing. Once again, we are gonna check task manager to see if there is any malware, rug or any type of virus running in background. And once again, as we can see there is no malware running in background. We do have this thing which I didn't see before but I'm pretty sure it's something from System32. And also this thing, uh, yeah it's from System32 so I think we should be fine. I don't know about this thing though, I don't know why I can't check its file location but it's most probably not malware related, at least I hope so. But yeah guys, as we can see besides of that, there is no malware running in background. So as a conclusion, uh, the Avast one antivirus did a decent job but unfortunately it failed the second test because when we ran the malware i mean the rug we we were able to run it and we actually managed to install the nava shield rug and after after i reactivated the protection after that the avast one antivirus took action so as a conclusion i think the avast one antivirus should have a secondary protection and also guys you should keep all your protections on so you won't end in such a situation that's all i hope you guys enjoyed it enjoyed this video i'm gonna see you guys in the future with new videos and thanks for watching bye bye